The first news is Paula White. I literally visited God's throne room and saw his blurry face. White House spiritual advisor Paula White is claiming that she was, quote, transported to a throne room in heaven where she came face to face with God. It appeared to be from a sermon she preached earlier this month. Quote, I literally went to the throne room of God, she said. There was a mist that was coming off the water, and I went to the throne of God. And I didn't see God's face clearly, but I saw the face of God. I knew it was the face of God. I didn't come out of that until really, until the next morning, White reported. Does, isn't, yeah. isn't there in the Bible somewhere that says that nobody can see the face of God? Maybe. She talks about a bunch of other stuff. I don't know about the Christian version of some of this. But she talks about some things about like having a mantle put on her. And it was the color of gold. And God carried her around and put her in certain places. Quote, one being the White House. The other one being certain continents. Hmm. Um, so you know, she's... the problem with this is that is okay. So this could be a lot of people like, yeah, okay, Christian people saying crazy stuff. What else is new, right? The problem with this is that who's like tell people who this lady is. This is a b bigger problem than most, other, you know, than just random Christians saying stupid, stupid nonsense because that's what you know. That's that's a precondition precondition of being a christian of course but this is different who's like tell people who's paula uh, okay paula. so paula white is the um white house spiritual advisor to Donald the white Trump. house spiritual advisor this one so is okay correct me if i'm wrong does she get paid with taxpayer money i am not sure if she gets paid but i do know that if there's a staff besides her or something like that who um are doing anything in the she's in the uh this initiative between faith-based people and the government in terms of a sharing partnership i can't remember the name of it i'm trying to google it right now and she is um so yeah she's the advisor to donald trump and she's also uh. A mega church donor who we talked about last week was yeah. the one who told everybody to pay her or the church before you paid your electric bill, yeah. your Th this woman et, cetera, makes, et cetera. This woman makes a lot of money from her church. Um, mm -hmm. And there and there's a lot of these people that make a ton of money. Imagine like, okay, imagine people's like this saying such nonsense and they're like making billions, billions off of church and uh, churches and they get hired in positions, high positions as like in the White House. This woman works for the White House for spiritual advisor. And imagine like us, like Atheist Republic is like, we're actually making, we're struggling to pay our expenses. And we're the world's largest atheist community in the world. Atheist Republic, right, is the world's largest atheist community. And we don't, we don't even have enough to cover our expenses. Like we're begging people to like, hey guys, can you pick us? Like Chris, like he covered us today for a hundred dollars. We're like, oh guys, one dollar a month, please our Patreon. And we haven't even, like we're not even a hundred patrons right and we're the world's largest atheist community we can't even pay like for our web hosting uh, cover our web hosting and everything um and these people just saying like oh i went and visited god's throne and billions is like dollars like they don't need they're making so much money they don't even know what to do with it and like but but spiritual what's worse what? is what i was gonna say what you're saying the spiritual advisor that's what's even worse to me she's blurring the lines between church and state she runs this church and yet and she is participating in politics which should in essence negate her tax free church religious yeah status. what what is what but is up with that what she's is not, yeah I, it's like this it's really a dangerous sort of melding that's starting to happen. Hmm. Okay, so... And, uh, what? Go on. Uh, uh, yeah, so from what Chris is saying in the live chat, uh, Paula White may be a zombie because 
in Exodus 33:20 it is it has been mentioned that you cannot see my face for no one may see me and live so oh, yeah the bible so does mention oh so she's dead though. and the, yeah and the yeah. bible does mention also that it is possible to visit heaven before you die um but it doesn't talk about apparently standing on a holy mantle or seeing you know god's Wait face. does god have a throne room I mean, it, I guess in Revelations there's a throne. Is that a throne? There's a room with a whole bunch of crazy ass, weird looking an animals in this in that room. But I don't know if it's a throne room. I could I have a picture of it. I know here. Well, I know a lot of the metaphors are he's sitting on a throne and stuff. I don't know what. But the she New thinks. Testament but says. this woman, li like this woman, doesn't think this is metaphorical. This woman thinks like God is literally sitting on a throne. And, she and just, he's got a mist around him. Yeah, and then she went and, and she like looked at God. Like this is what she actually thinks. This like And God took her to the White House. Wow. This and is And amongst other places that she's not she starts off her whole speech or, you know, sermon by saying, you know, I can't really talk about it too much. Mm. As if it's this, you know, very sacred, serious thing, which apparently it is to her, but she does reveal these certain, you know, things about how you and, know, you she know, could see God's face, but she couldn't. But she knew it was Him, and it was there was a golden mantle, and she went to the White House and other continents, which yeah. I think is pretty funny that, that she added that. See, I have this book. Of, this is a book, an uh, illustrated re uh, revelations of the last ah. chapter. Yeah. So this is this is what the throne room looks like right here. Oh, here. But anyways, so uh, he does have a throne room. <laughs> Well, I don't know. There's, there's this, there's this creature that is supposed to be the Lamb of God and God at the same time, and he's just like sitting there. It's very confusing. Like everybody can make it, I don't, I, everybody can make it mean whatever, whatever they want. But, but the, another scary part of this is that a lot of people are actually listening to this, and they're like, oh yeah, that happened. You know, like it's not like, it's not like. Mm -hmm. The whole world is looking at this and thinking, wow, this woman is crazy. She thinks like she met God and everything, right? No, a lot of people are like, wow, yeah, that was great. She visited Paul White, like actually saw God in uh, God's face and she visited the throne. Like people actually believe this stuff. That's, you know, is this scary? And this is like, we're not talking about like a third world country or some somewhere in Africa. We're talking United States, right? And you could just say stuff like this and people are like, yep, that, that sounds legit. <laughs> that, isn't, that, isn't that scary? And That's she's scary. she's fleecing all these people of yeah. their money. I mean, she's she's like what you would call in Yiddish a ganif, a thief. She hmm. is. She's just stealing from these people hmm. in a way that I find like really, you know, pay me in my church before you pay any of your other bills because I'm, you know, yeah. I represent God and, and the whole thing. And you know, is honestly, gross. this is something, among all the other things that the Trump administration is responsible for, like all the negative things, giving somebody like this that is actually conning people legitimacy, more legitimacy, like she was already making like a, a crap ton of money, and now she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm the right hand, I'm the. Uh, right hand woman spiritual advisor. spiritual advisor of Trump and then in the White House and she's like she's going to take that credibility like she's going to milk that until, until she dies right like you know it, it reminds me of like you know um, it's, it's kind of like watching I don't know Lord, Lord of Rings or something like you have a king and there's like a sorcerer next to you right <laughs> like imagine if, like trump is like a king and you have like this witch that does your spells for you and puts protection over you like this is kind of <laughs> and this, this is well, like this is what people actually you're believe right, it though armin yeah, right because she thinks that she's in this position because of god god right. loves her she's part of that dominionist prosperity gospel right. in the United States that equates material wealth and success mm. with you know your godliness and that's why she's saying you need to give me your money before you pay your light bill because right. if you want to be rich like me it'll never happen unless you you know give God his cut right let me see what the so, top yeah. let me see what the top comment is uh, <laughs> somebody put a picture of what Jesus could look like. Like he looked like brown and Middle Eastern and stuff. Uh -huh. I, and they put the picture and saying, if she had rem remembered to take her glasses with her, 
then she would have seen him crystal clear. Yeah, maybe she would have de <laughs> deported. Like, ah, I get out of our country. Okay, Jenny, the top comment is from Johnny saying, I knew it because every picture you see of Bigfoot is also blurry. What? <laughs> uh, Calypso Fat So God is a, is a Bigfoot. I think we can all agree on that now. Although it would be nice to have a fancy high definition God, we should be grateful for what we've got. Wait, uh, why did she say? Oh, yeah, but his blurry face. <laughs> he was blurry. She couldn't see it, but she could see it. That's what she, she actually said. She said it was blurry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause she was yeah. wearing her. But she knew it was God. Mm. Actually, that's where, you know, she, she, right she really knows what she's doing, right? Because she said, like, I met, I went, meant, and, uh, I went to the God's thrones and saw God, and she's prepared. She'd be like, okay, she knew that if she said that, people are gonna be like, okay, describe to us what exactly God looks like, and she probably thought about that, like, anything I say is gonna f make some people not happy, right? Uh, so she was like, you know what? It was blurry. Right? That's, that's just fantastic. <laughs> I just saw the outline. Of yeah, God. God was blurry. Right? So that's great. <laughs> that is fantastic. Like, these people are like geniuses. Anyways. Uh, evil geniuses. Evil geniuses. All right. Listeners, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has What's holding you back? Okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 